welterweight showdown between Bruce Lee and Kelvin Gaston. Best fighters on this UFC roster, top to bottom, to have never realized a piece of UFC gold. Former Ultimate Fighter winner, Kelvin Gastelum, and some of you like to say embrace the grind. He has absolutely embraced it. He's embraced the sprints. Seems to have this champion's mentality, and he'll try to parlay that into another big win in the team. And he's gonna need that mentality in order to build himself back to where he wants to be. But couple that mentality with the skill that Kelvin Gastelum possesses. He's a fantastic boxer. For a short guy, he does a really good job with his kicks. He's just a full-on mixed martial artist, a young man that has developed that fighting style from the very start. Truly, truly phenomenal fighter, a great ambassador for the sport. Kelvin Gaston has it all. And maybe his best skill is something you can't quantify, his heart. He's got so much heart. He's got so much heart. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting! In the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 16 wins, 6 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, USA, Kelvin Gastelum. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight? All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. It's going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's going to try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Try to establish that jab. Checks that leg kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice 
nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. The right hook to the body. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! Oh, straight right! Nice punch lands over the top. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Kelvin Gaston. Back and forth we go! Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, big right hand, yes. And that one was heavy. Beautiful knee. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? We cross the midpoint in round one. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. A little single collar tie there. Good stick. part of himself into that strike. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Hands up, hands up. Just over two minutes to go. <laughs> Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Beautiful strike. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Gasolin's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Gastelum's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Good punch, land. Final minute of round one. Slips that left hand. Single collar tie now. Oh! He's hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Nice little shot, Lance. Back to the feet. Nice strike. Good. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I haven't... He got his foot on the hip. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. But he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, round two. 
Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Just out of range with that left hook. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, wow! Huge head kick. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at any You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Gasolin gets hit with a kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Takedown defense holds up. Really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. Back to the jab now. No good. Right, you're okay. You're okay. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, right left combo by Gaston. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. Ooh. Just missed with the straight left hand. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Fantastic. All right, so near perfect man. entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down there. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chip. It's in there deep. There you go. submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ he does a great job of staying patient he doesn't rush or panic you are never safe when you're fighting this guy you're in a lot of trouble you're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm triangle choke, Calvin Gastelum! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight. But he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish what by submission me? tonight. He did just that. For weeks, I go home and purchase some things that I know when I feel my needs. I've been dosing, but I.